Frog and Toad together. This was one of my favorite books when I was younger. Uh, I don't know, I just remember so many summers sitting and reading it. And then just going out, you know, by the creek or whatever and just pretending, like trying to figure out places that Frog and Toad might have lived. It's a really good book. It's a children's book. And uh, I just always enjoyed the piss out of it, you know. Uh, so today, today I figured that um, I would take a chapter out of this book and turn it into a diorama. And I thought that would be fun. Uh, first off, just kind of personally just wanted to make it just because frog and toad are they don't they're not very well put together and uh they're kind of sloppy uh so it makes makes uh being able to craft something in a lazy form kind of easy and uh anytime you can craft lazy and easy is <laughs> definitely better than uh like hours of tedious tedious work spinning and Greeblies and all the little details and stuff, but yeah, Frog and Toad together. I don't know, you know, if any of you have ever heard of Frog and Toad, or and and if you have or if you like it, but uh, uh, it's funny. It opened up to this page. This is the diorama we're going to be making today. Uh, the story is called Cookies, and um, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to treat you. I'm going to treat you all like a uh, bunch of school children and read to you, kind of like around a campfire or something, so, uh, and, uh, I apologize that this is going to be just a little bit jumpy, just a little bit of a jumpy video, uh, because I kind of intended it for it to, uh, be shorter than what it is, but, uh, it is hard, editing is just hard in general, I enjoy it, but it's hard, so, uh, yeah, stick around. For some frog and toad action. So yeah, like I said, I wasn't really intending for this to be as shot for shot jumpy as it is. Uh, but uh, that's just because, you know, um, I expected to have a lot less in the video. And unfortunately, when you put so much time into something, uh, you gotta serve that time the representation that it deserves. And so I ended up putting a little bit more, like showing a little bit more to y'all in the uh, video. But uh, I had these little MDF squares that um, I came out of the back of like a dollar store picture frame. Just these tiny little like four by four squares. They're perfect, you know, to use as a base to build on or whatever and uh just just seeing those kind of inspired this and uh i've been wanting to do like a uh, story like take these old books from when i was younger like uh, as a kid and uh turn some of them into dioramas that had like a you know significant meaning to me uh, obviously if i kept them around this long uh, i'm almost 30 now so yeah and, and the life I've lived and how I've treated some of the things I've owned, the fact that these books are even around and in the condition they are is a miracle within itself. And, um, yeah, I don't know, Frog and Toad's just one of those stories that uh, is always just, I've always thought about it, no matter what. Just, they've always, those two characters have always been in my mind. And for the longest time, like, uh, they were, you know, um, they were, British, uh, that makes sense, but um, <laughs> instead of embarrassing myself and try to do English accents, considering that I thought that Frog and Toad were English this whole time, I figured out that they are not, that uh, they're based kind of, you know, America, Appalachia region, they were written in the 70s, um, best friends. So I decided to uh, save myself the embarrassment, even though I figured you'd probably all like that. I, get, I was going to give them some character anyways, 
But, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. But, uh, anyways, if you like it, you know, I really hope that, uh, I really hope that you do. Because I would like to do more of them. If not, it's no big deal, you know. I don't have to record the things I do. I just kind of enjoy making videos along with the crafting hobby. It's just fun. And, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to make something really kind of nice. Just, just like a piece of art out of the diorama itself and this video so I forget those of you that uh, watch the whole thing and stick around to the end uh, I added a little ASMR treat for everybody went down to the creek uh, below the farm and uh, filmed a little bit and my god were the bugs out and if y'all have never been to Kentucky just note this place like especially East Kentucky where I live it's like the jungle, okay? We live in between a plateau and a mountain range at the bottom. Like the whole thing's just set in a holler pretty much. And it's hot, humid, rainy. It's like a damn rainforest in the middle of East America. And uh, the bugs grow to the size of like horses. It's ridiculous. Toad bakes some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one, and they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, cried Toad. Taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. You know what, Toad? said Frog, with his mouth full. I think we should stop eating. We will soon be sick. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie, and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl. Frog, said Toad, let us eat one very last cookie and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. We must stop eating, cried Toad as he ate another. Yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower. What is willpower? asked Toad. Willpower is trying hard not to do something that you really want to do, said Frog. You mean like trying not to eat all the cookies? asked Toad. Right, said Frog. Frog put the cookies in a box. There, he said. Now, we will not eat any more cookies. But we can open the box, said Toad. Hmm, that is true, said Frog. Frog tied some string around the box. There, he said. Now, we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog got a ladder. He put the box up on a high shelf. There, said Frog. Now we will not eat any more cookies. <clears throat> But we can climb the ladder and take the box down from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. Hmm, that is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud voice, Hey birds, here are cookies. 
Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. Yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. <laughs> you may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I'm gonna go home now to bake a cake. The end. Be sure to subscribe. I'm always into something and I'm always doing something. If you do, hit the bell notification. That way you can see when I upload the next video. And we'll see y'all on the other end of the trail.